Hello again, everyone. Dave Benson, Principal Advisor for CPPS, the Center for Personal Protection and Safety, with another installment of our current security trends, where we take a look at not necessarily real-time issues, but what's happened over the last few weeks and, and how that impact us as security professionals. You know, sadly, as I stated in uh, my last ONTIC uh, security industry forecast for 2024 and beyond, we've seen a resurgence uh, of more traditional targeted attacks worldwide, such as kidnapping, government detention, hostage taking, political assassination. And I refer to this as what's old is new again, and many of these types of targeted attacks were very prevalent when I first joined the government back when dinosaurs ruled the earth and the Cold War was still alive and well and the Soviet Union and the Berlin Wall were still in effect with their impacts. Well, sadly, because of the geopolitical situation that we find ourselves in, some of this stuff has gone full circle. In addition, we have the reality of a, a two-front conflict in Ukraine and the Middle East that certainly the, the United States certainly has a vested interest in both of those in the outcome. And it just dictates that corporate security functions and organizations as part of their protective intelligence and investigations programs really focus on uh, situational awareness, training, de-escalation, uh, readiness, response, and recovery. Uh, operations. And this goes for small operations, uh, large operations, multinational organizations, uh, foreign companies, uh, and, dom and domestic companies. Uh, for example, just this week, we've had the assassination of the leader of Hamas. We've had Indian Air Force jets intercept an Indian Airlines aircraft because it was believed to be a bomb on board the aircraft. And this comes on the tail of several hoax bomb threats uh, that they're seeing uh, in that part of the world. Uh, and then sadly, we've had an American citizen kidnapped in the Philippines, which is very reminiscent of the old Abu Sayyaf days, not implying that this is the work of Abu Sayyaf, but very dangerous portion of the Philippines. And we had an American citizen that was uh, taken hostage. We don't know the the welfare or the well-being of that person. But my point for bringing this up is, oh, and oh, by the way, we have a little thing called a presidential election coming up, which has already shown to be volatile in its own way. We've had two att attempted assassination attempts against the uh, former President Trump. Uh, the threat level has gone through the roof. And so the message is clear. We live in uncertain times. And so we need to be prepared. We need to have a plan. Personally, professionally, whether we're traveling or going about our regular business. If you're going to be going to large gatherings, particularly political gatherings, you want to take certain precautions and just be aware that it's probably going to get worse before it gets better. So let's stay safe out there, take care of each other. And until next time, 